The phospholipids are another important lipid in the body, forming much of the overall structure of the cell's plasma membrane. Phospholipids consist of a three-carbon glycerol backbone, like the triglycerides, but have two fatty acid chains attached to the first two carbon atoms. Remember, the triglycerides contain three fatty acid chains. A negatively charged phosphate group is attached to the third carbon, which connects to a small, positively charged nitrogen-containing group. This region, having both negative and positive charges, forms the polar head of the phospholipid, which is hydrophilic and can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Remember the phrase, like attracts like, where polar molecules attract other polar molecules. The two fatty acids are called the tails, are nonpolar and hydrophobic, and can interact with other nonpolar lipids. This is another example of like attracts like, but in this case, nonpolar molecules are attracted to other nonpolar molecules. Phospholipids are described as being amphipathic, which means they have both polar and nonpolar regions in the same molecule. You can remember this term from the word amphibian, which are the frogs and toads. They live in two environments, land and water. This is like the phospholipids with two different chemical environments, polar and nonpolar. When phospholipids form cell membranes, they line up in two layers called a bilayer. Their nonpolar tails face each other on the inside of the membrane. And their polar heads face the two polar fluid environments, the interstitial fluid outside of the cell and the inner cytosol. We'll learn more about cell membrane structure in the next unit. Another important group of lipids are the steroids, which have a diverse range of functions and a different structure than the triglycerides and phospholipids. All steroids consist of a skeleton of four fused nonpolar rings made of carbon atoms. A variety of different side groups attached to the rings give the steroids their structural and functional diversity. Cholesterol, a steroid synthesized in the liver, consists of four fused carbon rings and a hydrocarbon tail. Cholesterol is used as a template or precursor in the assembly of all other steroids. Think of it as a pattern or a blueprint that's used to make the other steroids. Cholesterol also functions as a structural molecule in the cell membranes, where it helps keep the membrane stable at different temperatures. It helps pack the phospholipids closer together at warmer temperatures and maintains the membrane's fluidity at colder temperatures. Other steroids include the sex hormones estrogen and testosterone, which help in the development of sexual traits and reproductive functions. Adrenocortical hormones, such as cortisol, which helps regulate metabolism, blood glucose levels, salt and water balance, and the body's resistance to stress. Bile salts which help digest and absorb lipids in the small intestine, and vitamin D, used in calcium homeostasis and the growth and repair of bone. Another group of lipids are the eicosanoids, which are assembled from arachidonic acid, a 20-carbon atom fatty acid. The two main subclasses of eicosanoids are the prostaglandins and leukotrienes. The prostaglandins have a diverse range of functions, including modifying the body's responses to hormones, regulating body temperature, helping to form blood clots, 
dilating airways, and participating in inflammation. Leukotrienes play roles in inflammation and allergic reactions. Other lipids include the fat-soluble vitamins. Beta-carotene, which is the yellow-orange pigment in carrots and egg yolks, is used in the synthesis of vitamin A, which helps create the eye's visual pigments. Vitamin E acts as an antioxidant, helps in wound healing and scar prevention, and also has roles in nervous system structure and function. Vitamin K is another fat-soluble vitamin that helps form the blood-clotting proteins during the clotting reactions.